we are going to chop the zucchini now the zucchini actually has a lot of moistures in there so because we're going to stir fry the zucchini you have to chop it in chop it in the cut it in the bigger pieces otherwise it get too soggy too quickly when you stir fry you just keep rolling and cutting so that way every single piece of zucchini will have skin and the flesh on it and you can control how big of a piece you want to cut the different part of zucchini has different textures so it will be nice when you bite down the zucchini you can get every single part Seed our chili that way our chili would not be very hot I like to cut it just in long strip marinate our meat half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil one tablespoon of cornstarch two tablespoon of Shaoxing wine then what we do is just mix it together after it's done we'll leave it generally leave it for about 10 minutes let the flavor of the Shaoxing one and the sesame seed oil penetrate the meat. Now we're going to heat up the oil now because we are, have, we are going to cook the meat first. That way the meat can be nice and tender. Then we cook the zucchini with the meat together later on. So we need a bit of oil. I use about 200 ml of oil so the meat can be nice and cooked and cook. The oil, if it is hot enough, what we do is use a little chopstick. As you can see, the chopstick is bubbling. It means the oil is nice and hot. The next thing we want to do is we want to cook our marinated meat, which we left which we marinated about 10 minutes ago.
Our meat is just about 80% done. Turn off our heat and take the meat out and drain the oil. Now we are going to cook our zucchini with our beef and chicken. First thing first, I've just washed the wok and we're going to dry it and heat it up. There's a wok starting to heat and dry. We'll put in about one and a half tablespoon of cooking oil. When our oil is nice and heat, we'll put in now garlic and our chili just to make it fragrant. You know when you're ready to put in your zucchini is when you start can smell the chili. It's ready for our zucchini. At this point in time, this dish is still very dry, but that's okay. Zucchini itself has a lot of moistures. Uh, as we speak, it'll be soaking up some of those flavor from the garlic and chili. Make sure you don't want to burn the garlic. Now, as you can start seeing, there's some slight change in the texture of zucchini. That's when we'll put in our meat that we cooked earlier. Because the meat itself has some juice, so you start hearing sizzling. This is what we want to hear. One and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce, nicely coating our zucchini. Two tablespoons of Shaoxin wine. What we want to do is to let the zucchini soak in all the flavor from the meat and the sauce. If we put too much fluid too early, it will not be hot enough. And then the zucchini will become too soggy. At the end of the day, you want the zucchini still have a little bit of a texture. is our one teaspoon of sugar. One tablespoon of light soy. Starting to take shape. So the next what we do is about half a cup of water. Once we put in the water, our, our dish is just about done.
slightly simmer for about a minute. To make sure everything is cooked thoroughly. Now we'll put in our thickener, which is our starch water. Now as it starts thickening up, the sauce will be nice and thick. And last but not all, put in a couple of egg white. That will give our dish nice silky taste. 